Welcome to the Senior Parent Information Webcast. May and June will be exciting and challenging months for our senior students. They will be involved in a number of celebratory events, but at the same time, they'll be expected to maintain their academic standing to ensure graduation in college or job placement for the fall. It's a time when parents and teachers must remain focused to keep their students on task to bring many years of schooling to a memorable and safe conclusion. The following slideshow will provide you with important end of the year events and activities for our seniors and their families. If at the end of the show you have any questions or concerns about the end of the year events, please feel free to contact the high school. Let's get started. Senior accounts are created through four years of fundraising. Money from the general fund is used to pay for prom, cap and gown, and senior picnic. A senior's personal funds are generated from a percentage of the fundraising that was done by the student throughout junior and senior year. The personal funds can be used towards prom bids, cap and gown, yearbook, and to pay outstanding fines. Written confirmation of any scholarship or award from the university or attending is due into school counseling by May 20th. This information will be part of the commencement booklet at graduation. Caps and gowns will be available on May 20th, 23rd, and 24th and can be purchased during lunch in D76. Seniors can use funds from their personal account to defray the cost. Caps and gowns can be secured by contacting Mrs. Sherbo at any time during the day. The annual awards assembly will be held on the morning of June 3rd at 9 a.m. in the auditorium. Seniors are to report to the auditorium at 7.30 a.m. in preparation for the assembly. Immediately following the assembly, seniors will be dismissed for the senior picnic, which runs from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Seniors should park at Cougar Field and will be bused to Noe Pond beginning at 10.45 a.m. Buses will be available beginning at 2 p.m. to transport students back to Cougar Field. Please note that student cars are not allowed at Noe Pond. There is no readmittance once a senior leaves the picnic, and seniors must attend the awards assembly in the morning in order to attend the picnic. On June 9th, the high school will be hosting its annual art show beginning at 6.30 p.m. in the lobby and media center at CHS. The senior prom will be held on Friday, June 10th from 7 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. at the Birchwood Manor in Whippany. Seniors may use funds from their personal account to defray the cost of their prom tickets. Beginning on June 15th, students who owe fines for books and other materials can submit payment to the main office. All fines must be paid in order to receive your diploma. Summative assessments will begin on June 16th and run through June 21st. Assessments will be administered during Block 1 and Block 4 on June 16th and 17th, both full days of school. Assessments will be administered during Block 1 and Block 3 on June 20th and 21st, both early dismissals. Periods 1 through 8 will meet on the last two early dismissal days, June 22nd and 23rd. The baccalaureate, which is sponsored by the Community Interfaith Council of the Chathams in Green Village, will be held on June 21st at 7.30 p.m. at Corpus Christi Church on Southern Boulevard. Parents, family, and friends are welcome. All seniors must attend commencement rehearsal, which will be in the AB gym on June 22nd at 8.45 a.m. and on June 23rd at 10 a.m. Our commencement ceremony will be held at Menin Arena in Morristown at 6.45 p.m. on the evening of June 23rd. Seniors should report to Menin Arena by 6 p.m. and dress appropriately for the occasion. A small reception will be sponsored by our PTO at Menin Arena immediately following graduation. Project Graduation, which is sponsored by our PTO, will be held after graduation on Thursday, June 23rd. Seniors who are attending should report to CHS by 10.30 p.m. for the three-hour cruise around Manhattan that will be held from 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. Buses will arrive back at CHS around 4 o'clock in the morning. The exact cost of each function will be communicated to our seniors and their parents once they become available. As the school year winds down, I'd like to take a moment to congratulate the seniors as the class of 2016 prepares for graduation. I'd also like to thank the parents of our seniors for the support they provide at CHS. The end of senior year is an exciting time for our students. The activities that are planned allows for our seniors to be together as our school year comes to an end. Over the last four years, our class of 2016 has represented themselves well in many different areas. They continue the tradition of excellence in the classroom, on the athletic fields, and on the stage. Our seniors are to be commended as they've navigated through challenging times and have stepped up in ways we hope future classes will follow. The end of every school year brings many celebrations. I'd like to remind our seniors and their parents that all of our policies that are in the handbook are in effect for all end-of-the-year activities, including our tobacco, alcohol, and other drugs policy. 
It's our hope that our seniors continue to make good decisions and that the end of their senior year is as memorable as their last four years. I encourage our seniors and their parents to get together to talk about completing the school year and career on a positive note. I'd also ask that our parents support the school's stance on alcohol and drug-free end-of-the-year activities. Thank you for your support and congratulations.